Good afternoon, friends. In this video, I will make a detailed review of my mall stick. Many people ask to make some detailed video describing the nuances of how to use it. That's what I'm going to do now. At the moment there are three sizes on sale there of tools. This is a large mall stick, actually, small, it turns out to be medium, and less scalable for miniatures. Here, I'll open them now. So, here they printed it out. Here you need to tighten up a little. During storage, they could have dried up a little. Here, each tool has a key in the pressure plate. A key for a lift. Here it is. Here he gets. It is also stored here so as not to lose it. So, here it is a little denser. Here's a hexagon, that's how we pull it up. Sometimes you can just use a key, sometimes if the nut turns. The nut is here on purpose, I'll tell you about it later. Well, or now I haven't forgotten, the nuts are with nylon rings, they don't unwind. Anyway, the tool is clockwise, counterclockwise, the nut does not loosen. It's like an important moment for the tool to work. Here we hold the usual key. You can squeeze a little bit like that. The tool and the work should not be very much squeezed. Just a little bit like that. So it should rotate freely both clockwise and counterclockwise and at the same time not go down by itself. Now, if you take it to the position like this, the camera sees it so that it does not go down. That's enough. This is except when you hang some additional equipment like a ruler. I'll tell you about it a little later. So, the mall stick serves to support the hand when working on small details in the picture. It will be fastened to the corner of a stretcher or a hard graphics tablet when you are engaged in graphics, drawing. That is, tablets, you know, some kind of hard plywood. And you can attach it to the corner in the same way. It is attached with the help of these lambs. The lambs are here. Spring-loaded lambs, so that they don't hang out there, so that when I unwind them, so that they take the right shape. This is called a clamp. Spring bolts furniture, nickel-plated, high quality. Here. It is put on the corner, you can put the tool on all four corners. Just like that, once, and clamp the clamp. That's it, in two turns and that's it. The bolts are large enough, specially made, more precisely, lambs, so that even a woman's hand could cope with a sufficient, necessary degree of clamping even a woman. Well, that is, you understand, no tool is needed here anymore. Here is its correct fixing. About fixing is important. Is there a selection selected in the tool here, or how is it? This is the triangle selected inside. So, I'll show you on camera. Is it visible? This is the groove. What is it for? It is needed so that this chosen area does not touch the picturesque surface. The mall stick is fixed, that is, the angle of the stretcher is fixed directly at point blank into these bolts with springs. And, accordingly, it concerns only a small part. Here is literally a centimeter here and a centimeter here. It will probably be visible here now. Here it is. That is, this gap, it should look like this. That is, there is no touch of the canvas surface here. That is, it does not lie on the corner with the paint, but lies only on the very, very edge of the canvas surface. And, nevertheless, it holds very firmly, securely. What is the principle of operation? From behind. At the back, the tool clamp binds the two slats together into a single unit. And the lever itself, this lever of the tool is double. It's like a vector between these two rails and it works. 
That is, it collects the elasticity of both one rail and the second one clamped. Accordingly, here it holds a fairly elastic weight. That is, if it were fixed either to the same rail, or to one of the two rails, this would not happen. That is, he would have sagged. That is, the rail would be dangling, sagging. It's clamped in two at once. Actually, this is the principle of operation. Actually, that's why I have a patent. The patent was issued precisely for this idea. And it is quite elastic. Now I'll show you an example. In the usual unfolded position, the tool holds easily, a kilogram is guaranteed. Before touching, it does not touch. In some positions, he even holds two kilograms. Maybe not in this stretched one. The reason is already in this kind of something. Here. He's probably five kilograms here. He'll survive somewhere like this. Well, here he is two kilograms, you see, does not concern. Does not concern. That is, the hand can press down hard enough on this tool, it will not touch the surface. Big drill, too, now I'll try to put on a big mall stick. We fix the big one on a large meter canvas. Here are a couple of spins. That is, you do not need a strong, I repeat, effort. A small effort is enough to very securely fix the mall stick on the stretcher. Similarly, here is a kilogram. Here he is calmly holding a kilogram without touching, that is, in this position. That is, the average weight is about 2 kilograms. So this emphasis is guaranteed to be enough for comfortable work on small details on the site, on any site that covers the tool. This is especially useful, it is important that this resistance of the instrument is for the elderly, who has a tremor, who has something. A whole school or studio once sent me a thank you letter with this about these scales that I sent. The fact that, they say, they allegedly began to rewrite, felt like it was small details and all that. This is if you set up the tool stronger, that's just literally every one of these two bolts to tighten as tightly as possible. Well, up to a reasonable limit, of course, then this tool will hold not only this resistance, but also literally as a lever for some kind of resistance down. That is, you can even hang up your hand a little. He holds not only in this position his hand from tremor, but from this one. Especially if you cross it, I'll show you about it, if I don't forget yet, this bolt can be crossed here and here, that is, it will be like scissors. Then this force, the force of the resistance lever becomes very powerful, that is, it turns into a metal tool, or something by its strength. He does not lose this elasticity and everything depends on the very foundation. Rather, the base is already bending than this construction here. For normal work, it should be easy to move, easy to move to the area of work you need, but not fall. It's easily configurable. He then, by the way, gets used. At first, it may go down a little bit like that, I don't know, that's what it could be, theoretically. I don't know, I didn't have that, but I admit it. He then rubs himself. These details are being lapped. By the way, there are nylon rings here. I won't forget, I'll tell you. The bolts are of high quality, the bolts do not unscrew, they should not be unscrewed with nylon such washers. And there are also Teflon rings for this quiet. That is, he does not twitch. You know, if on a bad varnish, he would twitch like this. Teflon does not give. That is, the movement is smooth. Actually, smooth, comfortable. So, next. Actually, why did I make another tool? I once used a classic mall stick for a while or it doesn't have one, but here, you know, is a stick with a knob. Uncomfortable with what? That the hand is always busy. The left hand, the manager, is always busy. Here you need to hold a rag, here you don't know what to do with this stick. 
And plus, it's not always possible to restrain work, especially if it's big, you don't always get to the edge. Sometimes you need to rest this leather suede ball on the surface. If you have all a prim, you can no longer put this ball on the surface to write something. And besides, the disadvantage is that you think all the time, you can get where you can't, so as not to smear the surface and so on. There are no problems here, you've done your job, and you don't need it. He calmly took him aside and that's it, he doesn't bother you anymore. You can go up, you can go down. The tool is attached to four corners, that is, it is possible, it is easily attached both to the left and up to here if you have such a plan, there is some kind of easel or a large canvas where there is something to hook on. It is attached here and here in the same way. You can fix it down and do the same thing here. That is, all, all degrees of freedom. Accordingly, and in length. Now I've marked here how many they are. So, so the small mall stick is decomposed into 72, 70 centimeters, that is, from the bolt to the tip. Big by 90. 95 centimeters, at least a mall stick of 52 centimeters. Here, this is the distance, 52 centimeters from the bolt to the tip. But here you also need to take into account that the hand with the brush still gives, can give quietly from 10 to almost 15, 20, 15 centimeters. That is, take into account and, in addition, the tool can be attached with the help of such a gasket. It is not included in the kit, it is sold separately. And these two long bolts, it can be attached to the central rail. Central or side, who has what easel. Now I will also show you how it is done. Here, by the way, these bolts from the kit of this one can. Here he dresses up. Now I'll tell you quickly to what size it can capture. Here the mall stick can grab a stretcher up to three and a half centimeters. Three and a half centimeters thick stretcher can capture it. They don't usually do that. They are either narrow, in the area of two centimeters, or the gallery is already so wide, I do not know, six centimeters. These bolts can capture up to 8 centimeters. That is, the bolts are changed, put in with the help of, again, this construction with lambs is put back on. And you can clamp, in fact, any thickness up to 8 centimeters. I have not seen such a stretcher. Here. What we do to install permanently on the easel. We are unwinding these lambs. We remove the washers and this upper pressure plate. The clamping bar. Then we remove and change these, probably 60 millimeters, these long bolts. They are square, do not scroll. Now specially made. You need to get into the square in this one. Here they inserted long bolts, then this 2 cm gasket is needed here. What is it for? This gasket, it levels the thickness of the stretcher. That is, if there is a stretcher here, we need to. So it can be seen that this gasket is approximately at the junction with the surface of the canvas and only then does the mall stick work correctly. Without this gasket, he accordingly drowns more and then already clings to this, this corner. Here. So this is a necessary, necessary correction of the depth of departure. Then you put it here, the bar is back, this is it. You can put a spring, but it's not necessary here. 
here, and it is clamped by crocodiles, again, or as it is called, lambs. That is, here he is tightly merged with easel. Here. If you don't need it, it's taken away like this. If it is needed in work, I have such a design, everyone has different designs. Here, then it works like this. Need it, not needed, removed. In this case, by the way, when an easel is attached to the central rail, then these are how many, 70 centimeters with something, then it captures the surface more than the radius, that is, large canvases. For example, this one, if you hang it on the corner, it will, accordingly, be somewhere from here it will get. Here, as we can see, with such a mount in the center from above, it captures a larger radius of the canvas. And besides, you can move the canvas a little. Here you need to go in the right direction, straight meter. Here's some even this small medium-sized mall stick, it can work with a meter by 50, by 100 centimeters. That is, he covers it. They added it here. That is, we will work here. Plus, they added 10 centimeters, 15 centimeters, that we can have a brush. That is, this is enough. A large tool, well, accordingly, it is already quietly working there with square meters per meter and just fix it here in the center. Here, the elasticity is also high. This one has a little less, because the elasticity, because the lever is large. But also, I repeat, quite enough. For a mini mall stick that's good that I remembered. The gasket is not. There are no gaskets, at least now on sale, because there are narrowed seats. That's it, it's not that wide. Here it is, in my opinion, 6 centimeters wide. 55 millimeters wide will take this gasket here. That is, it will be possible to hang it on an additional gasket. And here, accordingly, we did not do less with my cabinetry with these gaskets. They already hold up well on small sizes. On small sizes, this tool can work quietly up to a size of probably 40 by 50. Let's see. Pinched, yes, 40-50, perfectly enough. Well, accordingly, the corner itself there, if necessary, can be slightly outweighed by the left corner, or else. By the way, the drill is convenient for a left-handed artist in the same way here. If you hang it on the left side or on the right side, lefty also had reviews. Everything is fine with left-handed artists, too. This is what concerns this option of fixing. If you have such a carriage, or how to call it on a mall stick, on an easel, then it is even more convenient to attach it to it. That's how I did it on my instrument, on my easel. Drilled two holes. In the same way, I screwed the lambs. And it's already in my hands right here. So, now I'll change the bolts. The tool is made of beech. Beech is a light, very strong and resilient tree. I've tried different trees, beech. I stopped at a beech tree, beautiful and in all respects. We picked up the varnish with cabinetry. The tool, by the way, is made by hand at a small enterprise, all this is being prepared. The varnish is alkyd, it is well cared for, that is, oil paint after work, and dried paint is easily erased. With an ordinary wet cloth, all this is wiped off. Here. The tool, in fact, is made of wood, beech, steel and, in fact, there is nothing to break here. If nails are not nailed with this tool, it will last for many decades, I am sure. There's just nothing to break. It is solid, in general, it will last for decades, it can also be passed on to someone by inheritance. Here. All the angles here in the tool are thought out. Everything is not so simple here. Here, every corner is a separate story. Here. All this is patented, the patent is in my possession. Now a few more words about what this tool can additionally do. He, accordingly, now I will show it, you can hang a ruler on him. You can. The spring is lost. 
So, how to hang a ruler? We need a wide ruler, more or less wide or some kind of rail. The length is, well, in this case, 50 centimeters, maybe a little more. Yes, as much as possible. Here it will not hurt. You can probably hang something about 70 centimeters. To the reverse side, not here, otherwise it will touch this one. Well, it's four. What is it called? Handle for control. On the other side. A bolt is needed. The bolt is preferably with a hidden head, so that it does not stick out and does not rest against then does not scratch the surface. You can put a washer, you can put a washer here. This bolt is a three, or rather a four, three centimeters. It can be shorter, probably two centimeters is enough. And the main nut should be with a nylon ring. Just like on the joints of the instrument, so here the camera will take or not this nylon ring. But I will insert a screenshot of how the nut looks like. For what? In order not to unwind. Otherwise, after a few gestures, the nut, any nut weakens and all this is chattering. So, they twisted it. That's how she should resist with some. Here I repeat, it does not unwind. Such a nut, it gives the tools such a constant tension. Does not allow you to unwind. Oh, yes, I remember well. Sometimes it happens that the nut still unwinds. It's the nut's fault, not the tools. Sometimes it happens that this ring is nylon, it is weak. That is, it works, sometimes it becomes that the tool stops holding like this, and it kind of hangs, the lever goes down. What needs to be done for this? All you need to do is tighten the tool as firmly as possible, but it is not as reasonable as possible to tighten the nut firmly, then make a few turns clockwise. We made two or three clockwise turns. There everything is lapped tightly with pressure, and then a few test turns counterclockwise. And that's it, and guaranteed, guaranteed, that is, it always happens that this rotation, lowering of the nut stops. There, all this is somehow lapped up and this flaw disappears. We hang the tool on the corner. Here they attached it. I haven't used such a device so much, but I don't need any particularly smooth lines, as if crooked lines are enough. But those artists who paint the urban landscape, there were also several good universities for this device, who got used to working with them. Here there should be more or less strong, durable resistance. You put it on the right angle you need, for example, to look for these vanishing points or something else. And a short line, just a short one. These are the same artists who paint the urban landscape, they wrote that a short bristle is not a long brush, with a long hair and with a short one, all this is very good. Pencil draws. Short. With a long nose, he is too sensitive to pressure. That's if. That's the pressure. If you can write subtly, not without pressure, well, that is, without pressure, you have a smooth line. Then a smooth line will turn out. If you dance a little like this, then the line will be, roughly speaking, like this. To avoid this, we take an ordinary stiff bristle or a short brush with a short pile, then don't push too hard, the line is smooth. Here. Well, really not like that, you can look for a brush a little narrower. Here. And people are doing great, right? For the landscape. So, now, what else is possible? You can hang a magnifying glass on. For small jobs. So, I bought this magnifying glass in the transition in the region of a thousand rubles, 1200, in my opinion. 12 centimeters window. Here I am a little bit. Well, they are all different, they can be done in different ways. Here she is with me with such an iron. I hammered a wooden chop here and in two minutes I picked up a chop and an ordinary self-tapping screw here. You can put a washer here. Screwed.
This, as I suspect, I did not use, too, I did not use this device widely, my vision is even more or less coping with tasks with such. But it's really very convenient to work, I think, who has a very small letter. Here, and so you can turn on the lighting, well, if, I don't know, in the evening you can, I think it's convenient. And then there are these little light bulbs. Here. That is, here you take some kind of work to the right area, you put a big one. And that's enough for both eyes to see without distortion, without any special distortion. The item is small, I have it lying around somewhere in a small one and it's uncomfortable. That's convenient. Working on the details, you see very clearly here an increase of about 1 to 2. No more is needed. Maybe there are some powerful magnifying glasses, but, as a rule, they are heavier. You need a regular plastic, not glass. The glass is very heavy, it will just possibly lower the tool. You need a plastic one with a small magnification, there's one and a half or two, that's enough. Here I see very well. Well, yes, about one or two, I don't remember. How much does it increase? Well, something like that. I've done some work. If you don't need it, I cleaned it up a little. Like this. I think in my old age I will work with just such a device. So, what else? Mini palette. It can be fixed on these holes, if the stationary one is more or less large. Or here is such an ordinary plastic some kind of white lid that I found yesterday, prepared. Here, plastic, on a double scotch, somewhere in the area right here. Here is next to the hand, but maybe here, that's it. So, this mini pallet holds, it's like a disposable, you can throw it away, you can clean it, it does not interfere, that's how it needs to be cleaned, for what, for a subtle color fit. I also did not use it, no matter how I try to do with the pallet, catch the eye. But when there are shades nearby, it helps someone a lot, when the finest color selection is on the same plane, when it is illuminated by the same light, when the palette is in the same plane, in the plane the picture is exactly the same, respectively, less distortion. Less distortion means fewer errors. Portraitists appreciated it. Some portraitists appreciated it. Here's something else. Yes, reference to hang. I have a separate thing with a reference. Watch the video. There is a separate device that is very convenient for reference. But you can hang it here, too, if you loosen the clamp a little. And for the reverse side. That's it. Maybe someone will need this. Well, who works with? Yes. I also wanted to show how these intersect. Look, here, about, as I said, about 2 kilograms, probably in this position here. But if you cross it. Now, probably, on a large scale, I will show it. We need to insert this bolt here. Here they are combined with two holes, these can be hung here, put a bolt to work with a large tool on small sizes. This, of course, is not as convenient as working with a minimum mall stick. It's still more convenient. That is, it is desirable for the tool to match its size. But, as an option, you can. And, accordingly, the elasticity of the tool increases very much. We put it here. This way. So, by the way, here these holes are rolled. If you put a pallet or something else you come up with, they are rolled, the bolts are heated here without bulging and this lever does not notice them, as if it goes on top. So, we put the Teflon first, then the washer, then the nut. Here they put it, clamped it. So, accordingly, the lever here has become much smaller, the tool has decreased and, accordingly, has increased, the resistance lever has increased or something. 
that's what I showed on the big one, he became roughly like a small mall stick in terms of resistance. If you cross a small drill like this or a minimum drill, respectively, the working radius is still smaller, 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 but at the same time increased elasticity. Here is the elasticity. Here the elasticity has clearly increased. Here. Well, that's probably all for today. I think I've told you everything I wanted to. Visit my website, look for the link in the description of the video, see the current prices for this tool. Who liked it, order. I'm sure you'll like it. There hasn't been a single bad complaint about him yet, not one in all these years. I sold a lot of them. Yes, I myself, in fact, do not work without it. That's what I'm proud of, one of the things I've done is this tool. The first day will be unusual, then you just won't be able to work confidently without it either. So that's it for today. Good luck, have a nice day, goodbye.